IAE 2953 is coming back to Microtech, and for my money the most exciting thing is the new Xi'an ship, teasing exactly 1.14 seconds of footage from the trailer. I'm going to play it, are you ready? There, that was it. In this video I'm going to dissect that little snippet and then go into what we know about this vessel from test builds and data mine sources. I won't be going to leaked information which you can find on the pipeline discord. I'm Jail and if you like videos about law, languages and all the little details you should subscribe to my channel and of course I'll be putting out a video all about this ship as soon as we have it in our hands going into all of the different xenolinguistic bits so you want to subscribe for that. The first shot of this clip is probably the most revealing as it unambiguously defines it as a new Xi'an ship. The character within the distinctive Lapa hexagon that is common in Xi'an design is the Xi'an word Ti, meaning use or utilize. It is in essence the Xi'an equivalent of the default use graphic from CryEngine, which you might remember if you've been following Star System for a while. This implies it is a button that will activate something when pressed, but it could really be any device. The other three shots all appear to show random parts of a ship. I believe the abundance of hexagons and the same shades of orange, purple and grey as the last shot mean that this is the same ship. However did you notice that all three shots are actually overlapping? We can align them to reveal the shape of the ship beneath. Now the overall shape is still completely baffling to me. Are we even looking at the interior or the exterior? Is this a pilot seat, a bed? Could this be a window, a light? I think exterior is more likely. As we can tell from the parallax against the depth field blurred background, this is probably a gap through which we're seeing a distant wall. Also, if the button was on the inside, that seems to be more purple, and then the outside could be more orange. As for manufacturer, signs point to Gasek Manufacturing, the makers of the as yet only concepted Rylen cargo ship. The alien manufacturers are day one at IAE this year, with Gasek listed first despite otherwise having no flyable ships. The ship colours and convention colours are purple, matching the Rylen. And unless they're planning on putting out another Xi'an fighter a month before we got the Santok Yai, flyable, it's unlikely to be a military ship, which leaves only Gatak, the Xi'an commercial and industrial manufacturer. Moving on to information that is already in the hands of some players, we can confirm both the size of the ship and its name. The latest builds include tags referencing a Gatak Siolen, a name which translates as fly peacefully without issue. This would evoke the idea of something that is a safe and reliable means of getting from A to B, certainly a gentler idea than the animalistic naming patterns of Alpoa. Meanwhile, when testing the IA event halls, players notice a large empty space in the middle, seemingly left for the new ship, and ringed by purple floor lights. I didn't get footage of this myself, so I've linked in the card in the description. This appears to be a space for a podium that would accommodate around a nomad-sized ship. So, we appear to be getting a relatively small, likely straight to flyable alien transport ship. It appears to have a navigable interior, and will feature Xi'an writing in a way that is yet to be rolled out to Alpoa vessels. As soon as we get our hands on this ship, I will start work on a video going over all the language and lore tidbits in its design, so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to catch that. I've been Jail, and I'll see you at the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo.